What's up, my people? It's your girl, Anthony, here. I'm back here with another band of strategy. And today, I'm going to show you guys how to trade the smart money unicorn strategy. Guys, this is one of the best strategies out there that ICT ever created. I'm going to miss this. It has a 90% chance. So, I'm staying tuned to find out how it's been done. Guys, let's assume we're on an uptrend. Have a high, high or low, a high, high or low. The structures have been broken a high a low a high again then the market went down and broke this structure then we had something like this then the market pushed downward this created uh demand zones demand zones demand zones let me draw them out for you guys to see you guys to see we have a demand zone here we have a demand zone here we have a demand zone here which was actually broken which was actually broken this is just how the ict unicorn strategy is basically it's just about we're just catching the reversals in the market because if you notice we had we had uh an, an uptrend we have higher highs we had the highs we got got broken you understand the highs were broken then we wait for a reversal then we'll take advantage of that that's what we're just doing basically let me show you guys um in a bearish scenario this is uh, a bullish market which turned bearish and i'll show you a bearish market which turned bullish let's go so we have a lower low lower high lower low lower high the structures have been broken also lower low a lower high lower low then this high was sticking out then we had something like this then the market pushed to the upside. This is a bearish scenario. We created supply zones here. So we can see. So we can see from here we had a low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Then then this we had some supply zones being created here. Let me map them out. We had the supply zone here. We had a supply zone here. Then we finally had another one here. Finally had another one here. This is just how it is basically, guys. Like I said earlier, we are just picking, we are just taking advantage of the reversals in the market because we know the market can just move in, a, in one direction. Like I said, the market can just move in one direction. It can move on a straight line. It has to go up, come down, retrace we know that when we have a long bullish or bearish trend we know a reversal will occur this strategy is just meant to take advantage of that let me show you guys on how to trade this on the chart here's a good example here we have the supply zone and a demand zone the market now is in a range you understand the market is ranging you understand and guys if you want to know how i drill the supply and demand zone i have a video which i detailed on how to <clears throat> create your supply and demand zone and i showed and i taught you how to trade it you understand so you can use that to become profitable also. but today we are talking about the ict unicorn strategy so that's our main focus so from here you can see we're on a downtrend let me zoom it for you guys you see um the lows were being broken 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 but the highs never got broken so it doesn't signal maybe a break of structure or maybe a change of character you see never broke this uh this high never broke this high which signifies we are still on a downtrend the market was still struggling we are still on a downtrend we are still on a downtrend we are still on the downtrend then finally what what did market do market broke this high which signifies what a change in market trend now since this supply zone was broken what do we do we wait for the market to break the supply zone successfully then wait then wait back for a retest what happened here we see the market broke the supply zone consolidated consolidated then spiked up then you must wait for a retest don't just jump when you see a break from that supply zone don't just do that you wait for a retest like we had a retest here then you enter here and you enter for your just one to three that's one to three risk reward ratio what do we do we take our entry from here 
we take an entry from here where will your stop loss be your stop loss will be below supply zone then target what one to three which reward we got our profit you can see how this works like let's take another example guys this is another example we are still on a downtrend you can see uh, the, the lows were being broken the lows were being broken this high wasn't broken but one thing guys you need to be careful if this high got broken it doesn't signify a change of character because this is the real high this high here this high here is the real high that created that move it's until when this high is broken that's when we can say we have a change of character that the price is trying to adjust to the upside you understand if this was broken because this was broken it doesn't signify a change of character just a normal break of structure you understand you can see it just um went broke this structure and still went back and broke the slope we are still on the downtrend because this high haven't been broken we are still on the downtrend until this high is broken before we know yes and we are no longer in a downtrend what do we have what do we have the market went up went up went up and did what broke the supply zone what do i tell you when the market breaks supply zone you wait you wait for a retest to the upside we wait we wait we wait we wait then it finally broke it here then we enter on the retest what do you do you enter for what your quick one to three we enter a long here so we enter a long here so we enter a long here what do we have we got our profit or let's see if we can even see any area where we could where we could use as uh, a point of target i think we doesn't have we don't have any area but to be safe guys i don't want us to be greedy to be safe just go for your one to three weeks reward one to three weeks reward. this strategy is somehow similar to the flip zone understand but it's a bit different you understand it's a bit different if it has been the slip slip zone strategy we'll have gotten an entry around here you get that but we are today we are just only talking about the ict unicorn strategy let's take another example so you guys see from here we are an uptrend from here because this is the high and this is the low that's why our demand zone is here and supply zone is here so until this low is broken before we know that yes something significant can happen that's when we know that yes we can use um, the ict unicorn strategy because this invites a change in character change in market structure you get what i'm saying the markets went back up broke structure this is internal structure broke structure key broke structure then finally finally what do we have here finally finally the structure was being broken you can see here this is it the low and it was being broken here it broke that demand zone and what did i say guys you don't just rush immediately to see the break no because sometimes it might be a, a fake out so the only way to come to confirm and to eliminate fake out is to wait for a retest you wait for the market to break up that demands or supply zone completely before you enter the market so what happened we wait for the break then we enter here so if you have enter here or here what we do you enter your shot then you take your what quick one to what quick one to three you take your quick one to three just take your one to three guys i don't want us to be ready because the market can't predict it because the truth is this guys this the market can give you one ratio five one ratio up to one ratio seven one ratio ten but you need to choose the most consistent risk reward how do i say we go to for one to three because if you take out of five trades at least if any will lose you are rest assured that that trade didn't come you understand which means your your, your our setup wasn't right at that time because trading is all about probabilities we can't be right always when any time you use one ratio three and it didn't come just be rest assured that your prediction wasn't right at that time so i just use one ratio three one ratio three guys one ratio three don't be greedy don't be greedy don't be greedy that's it guys it's a wrap for me and i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe share this video for more content like this